What's going on you guys today? I have a lower body strength and Pilates and HIIT cardio workout for you. You don't need any equipment other than optional dumbbells. So if you're a beginner, this workout is going to be killer on its own. But if you want to overload those legs a little more, grab a couple dumbbells. You're not going to be able to go too heavy because it gets intense really fast. Exercise mat because we're going to be down on the ground. Lots of water, some electrolytes if you need it. And let's get started. kicking our heel to our bum, warming up those quads and those hamstrings. Our format today is 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest for the first two exercises, followed by the next exercise, which is our hit cardio portion. It is just two rounds of 20 seconds with 15 seconds rest in between. It is going to get brutal rather quickly. All right, go ahead and switch it now to a body weight squat. So I want you to focus on driving those knees out, pressing through your heel, but grounding through the entire foot, squeezing the glutes to bring you back up. Pickle jarring both those feet, right? So grip the floor, squeeze the glutes the entire time. I'm not planning to lift super heavy today. It is like a million degrees here in San Diego. We are gonna get through this workout quickly and rather sweatily, sweaty, sweatily. All right, go ahead, step it back and just stretch through that hip flexor of the leg that's back and behind and switch. Step back and stretch about three seconds on each side, switch. Just wanna get those legs nice and loose and ready to work. Couple more. Last one right here. Good. Now I'm going to switch that to a reverse lunge. So instead of then stretching, I'm going to actually tuck that pelvis and drop straight down. Good. Step together. Step back. Again. Try to keep the uh, torso rather upright. You can lean, hinge over slightly to kind of focus more on that glute, but you do want to drop down right in between the legs. It's not like this, right? Upright, dropping in between, couple more, last one. Good, let's stretch out those hamstrings. I'm just gonna kick opposite fingers, opposite toes. We have five circuits. Each circuit has three exercises. It is gonna fly by, guys. We go A, B, C, C, repeat. We got this. Good, rock it side to side. Ah, uh, I'm sore in my inner thighs from kicking yesterday. Good, we're nice and wide. Now I'm gonna walk from one toe to the other toe and up, down, opposite toe, up again, up, switching sides, down and around. Good, you guys should feel nice and warm now. Anything else you wanna add, do it now. Grab your water, grab your mat, and let's get started. All right, my friends, first exercise is a gliding hydrant. So what I'm gonna do is press through the floor here. I am on all fours. I'm gonna lift like a dog taking a pee on a hydrant, and then I'm gonna glide to kick it back, bring it back in, and then close and repeat. We go in eight seconds, so pick a side. Don't forget which side you're doing. I'm starting on my right. You wanna do right with me? Do right, here we go. We lift, glide it back, Bring it back in and close. I'm trying to stay lifted out to that side that entire time I glide that foot back. So squeeze, bring it back in, close, open, glide. Oh, my side booty. Anybody else? Don't collapse into those wrists. 
and don't overly arch that back. So think abs engaged. Oh my bum. Abs engaged, no arch in the back. Tucking that pubic bone to your nose. Hello, glutes. Three. Rest. All right, now I'm gonna take that same leg that I was just lifting and it's gonna be the leg I plant. I'm grabbing my weights. I'm gonna step back into a lunge and then I'm gonna step to the side for a curtsy. All right, so back and then together, back for a curtsy. Up, reverse lunge and then curtsy. Yahoo, we got this. Oh, as I almost fall and curtsy. So think reverse lunge, pickle jar, that front leg, that front foot, and then back and behind, curtsy. Oh, my leg, 15. 10 seconds. Three, two, rest, set the weights down. We've got a pop squat variation. So when I come center for that up part, I'm gonna kind of hop over to the side and then drop it down. Here we go. So I'm kind of traveling across the floor here, having some fun. How's that one leg? We're doing that again. Eight seconds. Same thing. Pop squat variation. Here we go. Fifteen. Ten. we're coming down hydrate glide left side or the opposite side as before we go in three here we go lift glide this is my less mobile hip don't let that head fall stay active through the entire body not tense, just engaged. Halfway, guys. Up, glide. Don't let that head droop. As we get tired, we have a tendency to do that. Active through the entire body. Three, two, Rest, grab the dumbbells. We got that reverse lunge curtsy. So that same leg that was just lifted, it's gonna be in front, two, here we go. Back and then back and behind, curtsy. Back and back and behind. Pressing through that heel Grounding through the entire foot. 30 seconds left here. Stay focused. Don't fall down like I almost did. 20. 15. Oh, my glute. Eight. Three, rest, good, set the weights aside, pop squat up and over, Woo! here we go, touch down, hop up and over, Oh 
Almost done, guys. Five. Two. Rest. One more time. Just breathe here. Keep you going three. Here we go. Fifteen. Five. Two. Rest. Four circuits left. All right, my friends, the next exercise is a doubled up lifted clam, which means we're gonna be side lying here. We've got our uh, feet down here together. I'm going to lift up for that lifted clam. I'm gonna stay lifted, close, open, come back down to close. So we just keep on repeating that little series. So it's up to open, close, open, drop it down, open, close, open. We got this, we are going in eight seconds. <clears throat> Get yourself set up. I'm starting on my right side. Here we go. So open, lift all the way down. Open, close, lift all the way down. Both bum cheeks are gonna be burning this way. Just be glad we're not doing this with a band. Open, unless of course you have a band and you wanna add it here, then do it. Drop it down, oh my bum. That bottom bum cheek. No leg muscle left behind today. That I promise. Five, three, oh my gosh. Rest. All right, we're coming up. We're gonna do a sumo squat, but alternate the direction of our toes. So I'm gonna grab my weights, pop them up under my shoulders. I'm gonna go toes out. Come back up, point my toes in, and come back down again. So we're here, point them forward, here. Point them out, here, in. Got this? Woo! Pelvis stays tucked when we're coming down with the toes out. You can stick your booty out a bit more when the toes are forward. Knees are always tracking with the toes. How's it going guys? Two. Rest. Weight come down. I'm gonna squat, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Jump squat, shuffle back. Jump squat, like a duck walk. Here we go. One, two, three, jump back. Stay low. Legs on fire, I know. Rest. One more time. Breathe here. Five. Here we go. Stay low, guys. The sweat is pouring already. Keep that back nice and flat. Oh, my legs. Rest. Let's come down. We got that doubled up, lifted, clam. Opposite side. We go in three. Here we go. We open, lift, back down. Open, lift, back down. Remember, if you want to, you can always add a band 
to any of these exercises. 30, oh my gosh. Even my obliques are feeling it, especially on this side. 15, pull the abs in, don't collapse into your shoulder. Stay active through those bum cheeks. Three, two, oh my gosh. That side, rest. Woo, okay. We've got that squat variation where we're changing the angle of our feet. Toes pointed out, they point in. Here we go. Out and in. If you feel like your toes, I mean your knees, <laughs> want to collapse in when your toes go forward, just don't go as wide with those feet. You are halfway. Sorry, you're well over halfway. 15. Almost done, my friends. Three. Rest. We've got that shuffle walk, jump squat. Holy cow, we're going three. Nice and low, walk it. It's about three steps and then one step to get your feet together. Oh, my legs. Anybody else? Rest. One more time. One more time. And three. Stay low. Even if you feel low, get lower. Oh, uh, that was a game changer, wow. Rest, new circuit. All right guys, next exercise is down on the ground. So you've got two options. You can do this from like a crab thrust position or you can do it all the way down for like a bridge variation. What I'm gonna do is every time I thrust up, just like we did with our toes in the last um, sumo squat variation. So I'll thrust up with my to uh, toes pointed forward, down, thrust up with my feet pointed out to the side. So I'm gonna find like hip width apart. I'll thrust up here, come down, open my legs, point my toes out and thrust up there. In, good, we got this. Here we go. Up, down, point the toes out, kind of like a butterfly or froggy bridge or a thrust. If you've got a bench, you can always put your upper back against a bench Lock it out with every rep. Pull that pubic bone in toward your nose rather than pushing it up to the ceiling. It's gonna protect your lower back and you're gonna feel it a lot more in your booty rather than your lower back. Oh, my glutes, right? Eight seconds, I am on fire. Right now, rest, oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna do an alternating reverse lunge with an extra little split squat pulse there. So I will step it back into a lunge here, drop it down, up, down again, come back in to switch. So back, down, up, down again, switch. So drop, up, drop, switch. How's it going guys? Because I 
I'm already shaking. I'm only using about 17 pounds in each hand here. Remember your pickle jar trick. Woo! Ah! Okay, set the weights aside. We're gonna do a variation of a skater. Woo! Good, okay. Variation of a skater, I'm gonna tap down and then switch, switch. If you can touch the floor, more power to you. Do what feels good today. For me, it's just above ground. Three. Rest. One more time. Breathe. We go again in five. Ooh. This workout's getting me. Fifteen, getting sweat in my eyes. Ten, three, two, yes. Okay, Whew. back down, thrust variation. Toes out, toes in, drenched, sweat in my eye. Here we go. Up, toes out, toes in, squeeze the bum, tuck the pelvis, engage the core, and then go to your happy place because this is serious. Twenty seconds. 15, oh my gosh, 10, who's shaking, 3, awesome, all right, we're coming up nice and slow, grabbing those dumbbells for that split squat, reverse lunge, drop, ooh, okay, grab the weights. Here we go. Step back, find your balance. Drop, drop, switch, drop, drop, switch, drop. Serious leg shake going on. Ten seconds. Rest. Weight set aside. Skate variation. The sweat going in my eye is a problem. All right, we reach down for the leg that's planted and we switch. Go. Fifteen. Wow, I cannot get as low as I did when I wrote this workout. Five. Two. Rest. One more time. We are well over halfway. Here, on my face, okay. In five. Here we go. Keep your back flat so you're not rounding. 10, can you get deeper? Five. Ah, two. Rest. New circuit, guys. We're well over halfway. 
drink of water if you need it. Pause if you need to, but we're almost done. All right, my friends, next exercise, down on the ground. We're gonna do a pointed lift. So I'm gonna start with my left leg just because my right leg is always easier. So I'm gonna get the harder one over and done with. What I'm gonna do is press again through the floor, don't collapse into my wrist, retract the chin, point the toe, and I'm gonna lift it up, extend it, bring it back in, and down. I'm gonna try to keep my toe pointed the entire time. If you've got bulky shoes on, it's not a big deal. Just pointing that toe is gonna to make it a little more intense for me. We go in five seconds, so get ready. Point that toe, don't let your foot cramp up on you. Here we go, tuck the pelvis up, extend, bring it back, ooh, foot cramp, and down already. Up, extend, bring it back, and down. So now, you need to stay active through the entire leg because I can do this without feeling anything, right? So you've got to think about the muscles used. Now, when you extend, you're using your hamstring. When you lift and lower, it's all glutes. When you're pointing that toe and squeezing it to your butt, your hamstring is working. So just think about that really, really active muscles through the legs. Oh my gosh. Extend, back, and down. Two. We got time for one more. Finish the rep. Down. Okay. Remember which leg you did. We're coming up nice and slow. Don't get lightheaded. We're going to do a hip hinge. I'm going to grab both my dumbbells. I'm going to stick my booty out behind me. Slide those weights down the front. Squeeze my glutes and hamstrings to come back up. I have a controlled arch in my back here, right? Focus less about keeping a flat back, more about a controlled arch. I find that when I tell clients to keep a flat back, they round. So it's a controlled arch. You want to stick your bum out. Make it look massively big. Right? 20 seconds. Slowly down. Squeeze the gloops. Gloops. Your gloops. Your glutes and hamstrings to come back up. Squeeze. Eight seconds left. Shoulder blades in your back pockets. Oh my goodness. Two. Rest. Okay. We are going to pop it out to plank and then pop it into a squat. Staying low. Whose idea was this? We go in three. Here we go. Plank, squat, hold it. Plank, squat, hold it. So that plank portion is nice and quick. Pop in and then you hold for like two seconds. Long enough to bring those arms up. Rest. Yow, one more time. We go in 10 seconds. Five. Three. Here we go. Out, in, hold. Whose legs of jello? Mine. Nice strong plank every time. Oh my gosh, five. Rest, goodness gracious, all the way down. We've got that pointed lift, <clears throat> right leg. Here we go, point, up, extend, bring it back and down. Tuck that pelvis, don't arch the back. If you're having a really hard time with this or you're feeling it in your back, go ahead and drop it down to your uh, forearms. I'm gonna stay lifted as it makes it a little more difficult for me, especially in my hamstring. <clears throat> 18 seconds, my friends. We have one circuit after this. It is almost over. 10, remember to stay active. I'm feeling this glute way more than the other side. Three. Oh my gosh. Okay, rest. Rest. <clears throat> Hip hinge. Or deadlift. 
All right, feet are about shoulder width apart. Slide those weights down. Squeeze the glutes, hamstrings to bring it back up. Tuck the pelvis, squeeze the bum at the top. Stick that butt out, make your butt look gigantic. Squeeze to come up. Squeeze, hello barking dog. That would be buddy. I have sweat that's about to drip off my nose. 20 seconds. <clears throat> 15. I have one leg right now that is just like, I hate you. On fire. Five. <clears throat> Rest. Weights come down. We got that burpee variation. Plank to squat. It's about the sweat, the amount of sweat. <laughs> Here we go. Down, out, hop. Nice, strong squat. You can make this easier by just stepping out. Try to do the hardest version you can. Pop right up into that flat back. Squat, two. Rest. One more time, guys. One more time. This workout got me today. It got me. <laughs> Woo! Eight. My hamstrings. Woohoo! Three. Rest. Last circuit. All right, guys, home stretch. We're coming down. We're going to hit those inner thighs. Mine are already sore, so this should be just great. Okay, I'm going to bring this top leg up and over here. If you are not that mobile, you can keep it back here. What I'm going to do is lift that bottom leg as high as I can. I'm going to squeeze my heel to my butt and then extend. I'm going to scoot out a little. Squeeze heel to butt, then extend. You are going to feel hamstrings, but you're going to feel the heck out of those inner thighs. You can also come all the way down here if you want, which I think that's what I'm going to do because I want to relax. We go at three. Here we go. Lift it up. Heel to butt. Bring it back out. Stay lifted. Heel to butt. Out. Oh my God. What I'm doing here is flexing my foot as I bring it in and then pointing my toe as I bring it out. In and out, I'm coming up. I think it's easier. Oh no, it's not. It's harder if you come up, don't do that. Or do in and out. Guys, we got this. You only have 15 more seconds here and you don't have to do this exercise again on this side. Heel to butt, just breathe. Five, oh. My God, my inner thigh is like hot on fire. Two, rest. Ah, okay, grab a dumbbell or two. I think I'm gonna grab one. And I'm going to <clears throat> lift one heel, coming into a sumo position here, toes out. Lift the heel, drop down into a squat. Switch the heels, up, down. Switch the heels, up. Inner thighs on fire. Down, switch, up, down, switch, up. Stay active through that entire body. Abs are pulled in. <sighs> Tone that calf when you're lifting that heel. Almost done. 15. Oh, Lordy. I can't even get down very low. 10. Five, three, rest. Okay, what I'm gonna do is a broad jump and then I'm going to run back. So I'm gonna do a big jump as far as I can forward and then run back. To keep this low impact, you will just um, 
keep it low on impact, impact, you're just gonna do a big step. Right, so if you need low impact, Otherwise, you are jumping and running back. Rest one more time. <clears throat> we go in eight seconds. Three. down other leg for that inner lift I already feel that inner thigh so this is gonna be tough here we go lift heel to butt and extend I'm kicking my wall heel to butt oh my gosh heel to butt extend now we're good heel extend I'm staying up this time because I did last time and I'm regretting that decision but here we are how's that inner thigh guys you guys have to let me know in the comments how this one went for you you've got to stay lifted as high as you can to really feel it oh my god five three oh my gosh Rest. All right, sumo with that heel switch. Come up. Guys, we are almost done. Almost done. My hands are so sweaty, I can barely hold on to my weight. Two, here we go. Lift the heel, drop it down, switch. Oh, my inner thighs. Switch, nice and slow. Don't hold your breath, make sure you're breathing. Thirty seconds. Tone that calf too. Make this a calf exercise. Focus on when you come up from this move. Push with your inner thighs. Fifteen. Ten. Oh my gosh, it's almost done. Get low if you can. Three. Two. Okay, last round, two rounds. Broad jump, skip it back. Oh, we got this, we go in three. Here we go. You have under 40 seconds of work left for this entire workout. Then we get to stretch. and eat and shower and whatever else we do. Rest, oh thank gosh, okay. One more time. Almost done guys, almost done. Five. Here we go, make it count. Landing soft. Use those arms as momentum. Under 10 seconds. Come on guys, three. Ah, rest. Don't sit down yet. Just kind of pace the floor. Let your heart rate drop back down. Breathing, return to normal. All right guys. Just start now, kicking your butt. Just kind of, kind of cool everything down right now. Once you feel like not puking anymore, I'm just kidding. I hope you didn't feel like you're gonna puke. A little, all right. Let's stretch it out nice and wide and just rock side to side. Take your time. 
because inner thighs were just working like heck. Yes, this feels amazing. All right, now we're gonna come find a wall. Hold on to it if you need to. Grab a foot, stretch that quad. I'm actually surprised that my quads didn't feel the majority of this workout. It was mostly glutes for me today. Breathing here, make sure you tuck that pelvis, push that hip forward. You're not arching, so you can really stretch through that quad and that hip flexor. And just breathe. Be proud of yourself for completing this workout. That was kind of super tough. Other side, guys. Grab that foot, tuck. Ooh, that's a tight quad. All right. Oh, that feels amazing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fold ourselves over here. And just kind of pedal your feet. Find something that feels good for your hamstrings. Flatten out that back, round through the back. Bend through the knees if you need to and just hang out here. Don't worry, we're not gonna stand up after this because you would pass out. All right, go ahead and now just sit all the way down. Bring a foot over top here and then bring that, uh, those legs nice and close to you. Sit up tall, push yourself forward. Deep glute stretch, right, of that leg that's folded up over top. And just breathe. Make sure you guys Drink a ton of water after this, especially if you sweat as much as I did. And eat something. Eat something. I might just opt for a protein shake today because it's so hot. But normally I like to eat um, something solid, man. Like uh, my favorite is toast, like a whole grain, super seedy toast with uh, peanut butter and bananas on it. All right, go ahead and switch legs. Oh, this side is way tight. Push that knee away from you to deepen that stretch, right? So you're just trying to open up through that hip. Oh my, super tight side. Like really tight there. That feels amazing. Okay, I wanna stay there like forever, but it's time to move on, Caitlin, it's time to move on. All right, go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together. Bring them nice and close to your body. Sit up tall, stretch those inner thighs, and you're gonna use the outer thighs to pull them down, right? And I want you to not round through the shoulders here, but open up through the chest, nice and tall. And just breathe. It'd be grateful that your body was able to let you do this workout today. All right, now you're gonna scoot that bum away from the heels and go ahead and round into it here. Just relax. You can feel this through the outside of those hips there. And sweat is dropping in my eye. Story of my life today. And hang out here as long as you want, guys. We are done. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I know I did. I actually really enjoyed that one. That was, uh, was a little pukey. <laughs> All right, you guys, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Share with a friend. Share with a friend who wants to get kind of brutalized by me, right? Everyone likes a nice brutal leg workout. I love you, and I will see you next time.